Good morning from Old Town in Kissimmee. This is kind of like a little shopping district, kind of touristy area in Kissimmee, Florida, very near Disney. And there's also a fun spot over here, which is like a little tiny amusement park. Let's go check out and see what kind of fun stuff we can find in this area. The first thing that I'll start out saying is that one, it's very loud here. And two, there's lots of places to eat like Flipper's Pizza, there's a Mexican grill over there, and there's a Jimmy John's right here. There's also a Mr. Sushi Express, but honestly, I don't know if I would eat sushi. But I don't know, I don't eat sushi. You never know, it might be delicious. I like that there's just a shop here called Groovy, and it looks like a hippie store. I'm gonna go inside and see what we can see in there. This is not hippie at all. Yeah, check this guy. Oh, he's got an orange bird necklace on though. I like this guy. Tricky Wiki tells all. Why wouldn't his name be Ricky? There definitely is a lot of tie-dyed stuff in here. And Bob Marley, and uh, I guess VW stuff too. And of course, the Grateful Dead. There's a whole section of tie-dyed shirts. And of course, no shopping area in Florida would be complete without a sunglasses store. Ooh, this store sounds interesting. It's rock and roll voodoo. I wonder what they sell in there. Okay, it's like, like an off-brand Spencer's, I think. Well, this is interesting. Uh, there's definitely some strange shirts in here, like this alien one, or Abraham Lincoln riding a bear with a gun. Is this the sword from Legend of Zelda? I think it might be. Heck yeah, now this is my kind of a store. Tiki Gems. I wonder what kind of stuff they have. I mean, I, obviously shirts, but what else? Well, apparently they sell Minnie Mouse, Mickey Mouse, and butt alarm clocks, and butt piggy banks. Cause that, uh, and a fart button. All right. So there was a lot of stuff in there that I couldn't show you guys cause it all had bad language on it. You know, stuff like that. Stuff that I can't show in a family friendly video. In that store. There's a left-handed store here that also is a magnet store. I wonder if they know how magnets work. They have all kinds of magnetic food. You can get a magnet hot dog or a magnet hamburger. Magnet popcorn, donut. As far as the left-handed store goes, I thought that this was the funniest thing. It's a cup that if you try to drink it right-handed, you see the little hole in the back? It spills all over your shirt. This is great. Here's the British shop, and they sell beer inside of there. For $2.60, you could get a beer. Any of these beers inside. Inside the British shop, look, you can get uh, dish soap and gravy. That was kind of an interesting store. Once again, I was the only one in there and the lady was like watching me like a hawk. So I didn't want to film too much stuff because I always feel weird about that. Like, I don't know why you would come all the way over from England and then like buy Jaffa cakes here. And then onto the opposite spectrum from British to Saltwater Country, USA. Well, this store is not really all that exciting. It's basically just salt life stuff, the entire store. That's a sign about pee. Now we're going to see the difference between Ron John's and a normal old surf shop wave surf shop they don't make me feel old in this store they got little tiny hawaiian shirts this is actually really interesting the dressing room i believe this is the dressing room is a phone booth looks like just one surfboard but lots and lots of skateboards well there's, an, there's two surfboards let's go inside of annie's florida and disney gifts and souvenirs oh my goodness this is a lot of random disney figurines look they even have the new ones there's coco Holy cow. What are those? These are my Crocs. This store is interesting because they have a lot of like Disney merchandise and this is definitely not a Disney branded store. So that store was interesting. I feel like all that they did was just go to the Disney outlets, buy a bunch of stuff and then bring it back to their store so that they could sell it here. I think that's illegal, but interesting concept. Right across the way, Southern Breeze, where you can go inside and get a drink, and I think you could just walk around with a beer or something. You could also get fried gator and soft drinks. That's pretty interesting. I feel like I've heard a song about Electric Town before. Oh no, that's Electric Avenue, not Electronic Town. This is the, the offshoot of Electric Avenue. Maybe Electric Avenue is in Electronic Town. I like the wide range of stuff that they sell here. Computer speakers, sight for your gun, a T5, binoculars, some cheap video cameras, tasers, cell phones. This is, it's so random. And the thing that everybody needs, night vision goggles. Right across the way, Sweet Dreams Cafe. Looks like nobody's in the mood for ice cream today. Oh, are they even open? I think they're open, there's nobody in there though. And then of course, after you get your homemade ice cream, you can make your way down the strip. What, this is a haunted attraction, I guess? Mortem Manor Haunted Attraction. It's not open right now, but 
There it is. I don't even know if it is open at all. Is it open at all? Have you guys ever been here? Make sure that you're not claustrophobic or pregnant before going in. It certainly is an interesting place, but I really think that it's funny that it's right next to this bar called Sun on the Beach. And like you could be hanging out here listening to people scream inside of this haunted attraction. Into the As Seen on TV store where we can definitely go and get ourselves a booty max. All right, no bending or stretching, but of course you have to bend over to pick it up off the ground to put your sock on it. Is this actually a grass seeding system or are you just spray painting your grass green? I'm over in the knife section and some of these things actually seem like they're gonna be kind of worthwhile in buying. For one, the perfect bacon bowl. I think we need that. This thing, the nice, the genius nicer dicer actually sounds like it would be very helpful. A ninja thing, it's like a, like a rolling knife. Amazing. I want all of these things. This thing for cutting watermelons, I never cut watermelons, but I want it. I don't really understand what the point of this thing is, but there it is. It's like the front end of a Model T or a, like a 22 Ford. Maybe. No, it's got the spoke wheel, so I'm going with Model T. In case you guys are wondering what those really loud sirens and music are, we're near the entrance to the fun spot, which actually seems to be very popular today. I mean, relatively popular. I feel like there's a lady on here in purple that's like holding in her vomit right now. She is not looking good. They have a three-story go-kart track over here. Looks pretty awesome. Here they go. There's also a second track over here that I think is only two stories. Now of all of the stuff in this fun spot, here's the one thing that I'm going to do today. We're gonna ride Mind Blower. This is a brand new wooden hybrid roller coaster and you can see it's got this Heartline Roll right through the center. Or is that a corkscrew? I think it might, be, it might be a Heartline Roll. I don't know, leave me a comment down below and let me know what the difference is. It looks like it's a very short roller coaster, but It goes here we go we're going on mind blower and look at all these phones that have fallen out of people's pockets oh this one looks like it caught on fire wow we're waiting in line i'm gonna be front row unfortunately i can't film on the roller coaster well there it goes oh it looks like a lot of fun a little bit longer than i thought it was it was down and back a lot got that roller coaster hair it was fun. It was kind of reminiscent of an old carnival roller coaster with a corkscrew in it. It was just kind of like willy-nilly. Everything's real close to you. You feel like if you stick your hands up, you're going to hit one of the beams shaking all over the place. All in all, it was fun though. I would ride it again. It cost me $5. There's other bands that you can get that are like $15 for everything. And I probably should have done that. But $5 for one ride, not bad at all. I wish I could have taken you guys on it though. Pardon me, I misspoke earlier. It wasn't $5, it was $10. Still not bad for a roller coaster ride. Well, I was way off on my prices. The Mega Fun Pass is $59. The Fun Pass is $49. Uh, I think that includes everything. So you just like 50 bucks for the day and you can ride everything as many times as you want to. And then for $60, you get everything as many times as you want to and then one trip on the Sky Coaster. What this does is basically like a giant swing. They crank you all the way up and then you pull a cord and it lets go and you swing down and then out here somewhere. And then back and forth and back and forth uh, for a long time. I think this is 200 feet tall. It says, it's called Big Fun, but I thought this was Bigfoot, the monster truck. It's definitely a very large truck. This plaque says that this truck was built specifically for the movie Roadhouse with Sam Elliott and Patrick Swayze. And then it was also used in Tango and Cash. Well, it's kind of interesting. So every Saturday, they have an old classic car cruise here. But that's not the thing that I thought was so interesting over here. The thing that I thought was so interesting was these doors to nowhere up here. What do you think's behind those doors? Hopefully a sign saying, don't open these doors. Rootin' and tootin' shootin' gallery. This is pretty neat. You could shoot at what looks like Mater, but not really, it kind of looks like Doc Hudson, doesn't it? Shake with Uncle Sam for 25 cents. You could see how good of a handshake you have with Uncle Sam right there. If you don't do it hard enough, you could be labeled as a tax cheat. Only a dollar to make him holler. For one dollar, 
you can electrocute this guy. All right. Just electrocuted himself for a little bit. He's making, making noise. He's very upset. I'll get you for this. Oh. Oh my. There's a little arcade here where you can play the Walking Dead game or this punching bag game. Uh, what, what? Ooh, looks like you can go mining for minerals here. I'm not seeing any minerals shooting out though. Maybe they have to put some in there. You would think you'd be able to see minerals floating by. We came into this place called Black Market Minerals and every time that I walk, they have these things that are hanging that I keep hitting every time that I'm moving anywhere. They're just everywhere. I keep hitting things. These are all of the the wind chimes. They have all these pieces of ceilonite and it just looks like asbestos to me. A family back there said that ceilonite's good to have in your home. It helps cleanse it. So I found out that it's not asbestos. It's very fibrous like asbestos is though. This stuff's pretty neat looking. It's like magnifying. Just walking across the way because I was kind of excited to see what this was. It's not anything that I can tell. It's just maybe they sell barrels in there. But oh, he's going in. Is he going in? It is a sad day indeed. Oh, he's putting the lights up. I thought he was taking them down. I thought he was taking down the Christmas lights. He's not. He's putting them back up. Let's head into the Old Town General Store, established in the bygone era of 1986. Check out this 1986 Model T Ford. It's pretty fancy. It's a 1986 customize your own magnet kiosk and a 1986 fidget spinner. Look, a vintage 1986 Frisbee and a 1986 paddleboard set. Now I know I was joking about everything being from 1986, but check out these yard flamingos. This is actually really neat. And a really tiny red wagon. There's a place here called Cut the Cupcake and they sell cakes. This one looks like the Eiffel Tower. That is a really impressive cake. They're not open right now, but if they, oh look, buy a cupcake and you get a free coffee. That's one heck of a deal. If you didn't like what you saw over at Fun Spot, you could come back to this area and ride a tilt-a-whirl, a, a merry-go-round, a crazy couch, or what is this place? What is this one called? A paratrooper? They look like they're about to have a blast. Oh, he just yelled. He's like, whoa! The most interesting store in Old Town, the budget rental car store. There's a place here called Mini Queen Japanese Gifts. Oh, you can buy Dragon Balls. All right. Or Pikachus, Snorlax, uh, Totoro, Totoro. They have an entire section devoted to K-pop. This is exciting. Look, you can have pillows. There's a place in here called Wound and Around. Awaken the memory, 50s and 60s stuff. Ooh, look at this Chevy. This is a, this is an Impala, right? You like how I can tell what kind of car it is just by looking at the front of it? I'm like, that's my superpower. Well, these are neat and they have cards for all kinds of years. Oh, look here. This is the year of my birth. What was happening in 82? Uh, the Weather Channel started broadcasting. That's kind of exciting. Michael Jackson's Thriller came out. All over Old Town are these fortune machines and this one is Elvis. We've seen a whole bunch of different kinds. I think I like this one the best. So there you have it. That's been our trip out to Old Town in Kissimmee and a little quick trip to Fun Spot to ride Mind Blower. All in all, it's a very interesting place down here. A lot of really interesting stores. Uh, not your normal stores though, definitely. You couldn't come here being like, I'm gonna go buy this one specific thing kind of like you come here to go window shopping and then you might find something that you're actually gonna buy when you get here but if you're coming here to ride some rides like say this one where is it over here it's called the Vomitron yeah that's the type of ride that's here I would suggest coming down here it's a neat place and with that being said we are off and we will see you guys tomorrow and now it's time to pay the price